Good morning and welcome to the Battle Within. We're continuing our study in the book of John, chapter 8. And we're looking at verses 21 through 27. Let's go ahead and read that. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whether I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he hath said, he saith, Whether I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus saith unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. So let's break this down now. Beginning with verse 21. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me. The way what? He's going to the way of the cross, and he's going to die on the cross for our sins. And it says, I am going to you seek me and shall die in your sins. You're going to seek him, but die in your sins. Whether I go, you cannot come. See, they're going to be seeking for the Messiah, but because they don't believe in the Messiah, they're going to die in their sins. You know, we have many people out there trying to seek religious freedom to understand who they are. You know, I want to know, and they try all these spiritualistic things and these fake religions and all that stuff, trying to seek the truth, trying to find the Messiah, trying to find the reality of realness. But Jesus said they're going to die in their sins because they, uh, uh, whether I, they be, but they shall die in your sins. Whether I go, you cannot come. Then said the Jews, will he kill himself? I mean, why are these people here? Will he kill himself? Because he saith, where I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. You are from beneath. You're from hell. <laughs> you're just, you're this hellish people. He said, I am from above. Ye of this world. I am not of this world. Jesus said, I am from above. I'm not of this world. You are of this world. You're beneath the world. And then he said, said unto you, I said therefore unto you, ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. That's about as straightforward as you can get. If you don't believe in Jesus, then you will die in your sins. Anyone who doesn't believe in Jesus will die in their sins. That's why there's only one way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and light, and I may come to the Father above me. So we see that. He said, then said they unto him, who art thou? You believe in me? Well, who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have told you who I was over and over again, but you refused to listen. Then he goes and he says in verse uh, 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 26, I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. See, so what Jesus is telling us here, that the things that he told us on earth while he was here was the things that the Father had told him to tell us. The Father honored the Son. That's why Jesus told the disciples at one time when they said, show me, show me the Father, show me the Father. And Jesus said, what are you talking about? Have you not been with me enough to know that if you've seen me, you've seen the Father? We are one. We are one. He said, what are you talking about? So in verse 26 here, he says, uh, uh, in verse 26, he said, I have heard many things say and judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world that those things which I have heard of him, they understood not that he spake to them of the Father. See, they never, they continue to mistake the world. Their mind was so focused on the world that they could not focus on Christ. I'm afraid many people in our world today are so focused on the world, they're, no, they're so earthly-minded, they're no heavenly good, you heard them say. I don't have time for today. Let's close in a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity that we can worship you in prayer. I thank you, Lord, for your great mercies. I pray, Lord, right now that you help us to follow you and be an example to others. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for your time and your attention today.